The Letter to the Hebrews God, having in the past spoken to the fathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways, has at the end of these days spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed heir of all things, through whom also He made the worlds. His Son is the radiance of His glory, the very image of His substance, and upholding all things by the word of His power, when He had by Himself made purification for our sins, sat down on the right hand of the Majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, as He has inherited a more excellent name than they have. For to which of the angels did He say at any time, You are My Son, today have I become your Father, and again I will be to Him a Father. Children, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. You fathers, don't provoke your children to wrath, but nurture them in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to those who according to the flesh are your masters, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart as to Christ, not in the way of service only when eyes are on you as men-pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good thing each one does, he will receive the same again from the Lord, whether he is bound or free. You masters do the same things to them and give up threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Children, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. You fathers, don't provoke your children to wrath, but nurture them in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to those who according to the flesh are your masters, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart as to Christ, not in the way of service only when eyes are on you as men-pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good thing each one does, he will receive the same again from the Lord, whether he is bound or free. You masters do the same things to them and give up threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world's rulers of the darkness of this age, and against the spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having the utility belt of truth buckled around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having fitted your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking up the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, with all prayer and request, praying at all times in the Spirit, and being watchful to this end in all perseverance and request for all the saints, on my behalf, that utterance may be given to me in opening my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that you also may know my affairs, how I am doing, Tychicus, the beloved brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will make known to you all things, whom I have sent to you for this very purpose, that you may know our state, and that he may comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brothers and love with faith, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ with incorruptible love. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world's rulers of the darkness of this age, and against the spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having the utility belt of truth buckled around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having fitted your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking up the shield of faith, 
with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, with all prayer and request, praying at all times in the Spirit, and being watchful to this end in all perseverance and request for all the saints, on my behalf, that utterance may be given to me in opening my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that you also may know my affairs, how I am doing, Tychicus, the beloved brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will make known to you all things, whom I have sent to you for this very purpose, that you may know our state, and that he may comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brothers, and love with faith, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ with incorruptible love. Amen. Father, and he will be to me a son. Again, when he brings in the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. Of the angels, he says, who makes his angels winds, and his servants a flame of fire. But of the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth. The heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you continue. They all will grow old like a garment does. As a mantle you will roll them up, and they will be changed. But you are the same. Your years will not fail. But of which of the angels has he said at any time, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies the footstool of your feet? Aren't they all ministering spirits, sent out to do service for the sake of those who will inherit salvation?' 